Hi guys and welcome to Hope for All Cultures. I'm very excited to be with you guys today because it is quite an interesting day. Today we shall be exploring the Swedish royal palace and learn more about its cultural heritage. Sweden is a country of 12 million people with Stockholm as its capital. Sweden is ruled by a constitutional monarchy with the king as its official head of state. Its executive power is led by the prime minister and the legislative power is vested upon the parliament. On my right lies a giant fortress baroque which is as the Swedish parliament a Roman style And just across the bridge lies the official residence of the Swedish Prime Minister in person of Magdalene Andersen. And right behind me lies the Swedish Royal Palace, which is actually our point of focus. Follow me. It's a giant size fortress barricade known as the official resident of the King of Sweden built in a Roman style in the year 1754 by one of the world's best architects, Nicodemus Thersen. It is actually the largest and the most dynamic palace in Europe.
And just beside the palace is the monument and the burial ground of one of Sweden's most cherished king, Gustav the Third. And we are now watching a demonstration by the Royal Palace Guards. When you call Swedes Vikings, indeed you are correct because the first king of Sweden in person of beyond was a Viking and of course a son of a Viking. Things when uh, Gustav Vasa was known as the founder of modern day Sweden and the liberator of Sweden from Kama Union came into power in 1521. Sweden has had five dignities, including the present King Carl the Sixteenth. His Royal Majesty the King Carl Gustav ascended the throne of Sweden since 1973 at the age of 27, after the death of his grandfather. His father was initially supposed to be the king, but died in a plane crash in Denmark since 1947. And as heir to the throne, King Carl ascended the throne. He is considered one of the most significant king because he is the longest reigning Swedish monarch in the history of Swedish dynasty. And of course there have been some shift of powers towards the parliament. The palace has 600 rooms divided into seven floors. It is also partitioned into five different sections. You have the treasury where it lies the regalia vault. There you will find the crowns of all the queens and queens that have ruled Sweden in the past centuries and the royal chapel where you find the church and as well as uh, all the kings and queens they attend their church service and practice their christian faith remember that sweden is an official christian country you have the royal apartments there there lies all the state royal representatives. The king sits and presides over royal state matches together with the royal representatives. We also have uh, the Gustav the Church Museum of Antiquity. There lie sculptures of 
former kings and queens of Sweden. You know. And at the Tree Chrono Museum, it depicts the history of Sweden's medieval period. That is between the 5th to the 15th century. Yeah, hey guys, right now we are at the center of the Swedish Royal Palace. As I said before, the Swedish Royal Palace has 600 rooms divided into seven different floors. It is also being partitioned into five different apartments. You have the Trey Chrono Museum, you have the Gustav the Third Museum, you have the Royal Apartment, you also have the Regalia, you have as well the Chapel, and let's explore. Follow me. This is the chapel where all the seven sacraments of liturgy are being practiced specifically for the royal enclave and entourages. And we are now at the treasury of the regalia where we shall find all the crowns of, and medals of the queens, kings, princesses and that have ever existed in Sweden.
And these are crowns of some of the princesses. And this is a cloak that is being used to crown the queens together with their kings during a coronation day. This is actually being used every time a new king and queen is to be crowned. This area is Sweden's most cherished treasure room and we are now right inside. And this is the Swedish crown. And this is the house of the royal state representatives, where the king sits and presides over state matters. And this is where the king sits on a busy day and presides over royal issues. That is indeed the crown of Sweden. And this is the royal apartment. And here we find different medals of the kings and queens in Sweden for over centuries. And the dresses that has been used by different kings. And this is the vestment of the royal bishop. We are now inside the royal apartment.
the royal bedroom. The royal bedroom. And here we have the Tree Creno Museum that portrays the palace medieval history. That was the previous four trees before the present palace. can actually sit here and watch the history of the palace. That is a physical map of the palace. And here we have the Gold Stars, Gold Staff, the Third Museum of Antiquities. Here you can get books and items from Sweden's historical background.
and this is the founder of Stockholm. And this is the founder of Stockholm in person of L.B.L. Magnusson. L.B.L. Magnusson. Thank you very much and see you. Thank you very much guys for being with us. It's been an interesting day and now it's time to go and sweep and fika with the king. For those who don't know, fika means drink coffee and have a chat. Thank you and see you at the next episode. Bye bye.